Hey guys, this is Elena Singen Lee from We Learn to Share. Welcome to the video of AP Latin. In this video, we're going to go over Virgil's Aeneid from Book 2, from line 209 to 220. So, let's start our lesson today. So, we have fit sonitus pamente salo. And this is basically sonitus, nominative. The sound, a sound, um, fit is made. And you have spumante salo. In the salty sea, foaming, which is an ablative absolute. And then you're going to have iam que. So that means you have to put quivers and iam now. Or um, altogether you can say that's just and already. And already, tenebat. They were holding arva, the fields. And you have sufecti, having supplied having supplied our dentist oculus, the burning eyes, et, and um, the burning eyes, oh, the burning eyes, sorry, with blood and with fire. So sanguine and igne, um, the blood and fire would be ablative means. And uh, why you have oculus over here is actually um, the Greek accusative of respect. So it's used as a direct object of the Greek middle voice, sufecti, which means having suffused or having supplied. And then you have sibylla, um, lam lambebant, linguis virantibus ora. So before we start translating, I'll just mark that sibylla over here goes with ora. As you can see, they both have a ah endings, and this is linguist going with re, um, vibrantibus. So it will be lambebant, they, they meaning the laocoon, right? Oh, sorry, the snakes, right? The twin snakes. Uh, they were licking, and you have sibylla ora, their hissing mouth, and you have linguist vibrantibus with vibrating tongues. So sibylla ora obviously is a hyperbenton, and then you have the chiasmus over here, the AB, AB structure, as you can see from the colors, right? A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A structure, right? And then um, you can also say that lambe bant linguist because they both start with L, um, they, there is um, there's alliteration over here. Okay, now let's move on to the next line. So. Um, in the next line, it says that the fugimus, the fugimus meaning we fled, right? We fled, we sue from the site. Uh, this is um ablative cause with exanguis, or it could be ablative of separation with the the fugimus, right? We fled from the site, exanguis pale. And you have, um, they meaning the twin snakes. They patoon, they search or they seek, they pursue whom who lao kun. Agmine kerto in a fixed line. And this is ablative of absolute or ablative, oh, sorry, uh, ablative place in a fixed line. And then you have et primum. And f at first, you have um, parwa, corpora going together over here. Um, duorum, duorum, uh, natorum going over here together. And you also have serpens uter going together over here. So it would be and. At first, um, serpents uter, each serpent, and plexus, having embraced, implicat, twists, the para corpora, the small bodies of durum naturum, the generative right, of his two sons, Laocoon's two sons, and you have the pascitur, and feeds up, in, feeds upon, you can also see that misersos and artus goes together, meaning miserable limbs. Feeds upon their miserable limbs, more so with a bite. And so over here, you can see lots of little elements because you can see that there's synthesis, ABAB, parwa, dual room, corpora, naturum. And you can also have um, synthesis with power room. Um, uh, sorry, and also you can say that um, more so over here is ablative means. And um, this pakitor, which means is it feeds upon is the pronoun verb so even if it looks passive because it has tour it means active and we may infer that lao kun's sons were young because it says that the two sons had these small bodies right now let's translate this together now so it says post so afterwards and it says corripunes they seize um they seize him meaning lao kun himself and um him 
So Lao Kun is subuentem. He is approaching or going up. Auxilio with help or to help. And he is also, let's look for another, um, yeah, it says ferentem, right? Um, carrying tela, weapons. And the spirits in Gantibus goes together over here. And you just have the twin snakes, right? They, ligands, bind, eos. Supply eos, meaning them, or saying the sons, Lao Kun's sons. It says, Ingentibus spiris, with a huge coil, at Iam and now, Amplexi, having embraced medium, the middle, the middle, twice. So, you can say that Ipsum over here was Lao Kun, and Subentem and Ferentem, which also all two modifies Ipsum, the Lao Kun, is a present participle. And then Ingentibus spiribus is also a ablative of, um, means and also this is a hyperbaton and you have again the great middle voice amplexi going with the accusative of respect medium so this is translated as having embraced the middle twice and then you have ipsum auxilio as stative of purpose because basically um Lao Kun, he himself was going up with help or to help the sons who was about to get um eaten by the two twin snakes right now let's um translate the last part. It says um bis kolo squamia kirkum terigdi tergadati. So you can first translate kirkum dati meaning having surrounded, and then you would have squamia terga going together, meaning the silky backs, their silky backs, bis twice, colo around the neck, you have the verse superance, they overcome, aum him. Um and you can have Capite, or this should actually be cap capitibus, because it's like by their heads, the serpent's heads. And you have also um, carikibus cari altis, and by the lofty necks. So you can say that kirkum dati over here is actually, this should actually be one word, right? Kirkum dati, like this. But because it's separate, you can say that this is temesis. Which is which means when a word is divided into two parts, and you can also say that capite caricus altis. They're all ablative means, right? Okay, so let's fastly go over what we have translated together today. So we can say that a sound is made in the salty sea foaming, and already they were holding the fields and having supplies of fecti, their burning eyes with blood and with fire. They were licking um, their hissing mouths with vibrating tongues. And we fled from sight pale. They, meaning the two twin snake, the twin snakes, they seek Lao Kun in a fixed line. And at first, each serpent, having embraced, twists the two the small bodies of his two sons and it, and it feeds upon the miserable limbs. The miserable limbs with a bite. The limbs over here. And afterwards, they seize them, see, they seize him himself, meaning Lao Kun, approaching to help or with help and bearing weapons. And they bind them, the two, they, they meaning the serpents, and Eos is the son of Lao Kun, right? Uh, they bind them with huge coils and now, having embraced the middle, um, twice, having surrounded Timesis, their silky backs twice around the neck, they overcome him by their heads and by lofty necks. Okay, so thanks for watching the video and see you in the next video.